Arturia Effects Collection 3 is here and along with the 22 plugins we had last time, there are four new additions to get you salivating. So let's find out what's new. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you will. You know, I use Arturia Effects in almost all of my projects. I especially love their preamps, their compressors and I adore their reverbs. So I'm naturally excited to find out what's new in version 3 of their effects collection. Now I do want to focus on what's new. However, if you'll just give me 53 seconds of your time, I'll do a recap on what's already included from version 2 starting now. The previous version of Arturia's effects collection comprised of 22 plugins, including three compressors based on vintage models, but with their own twist, three delays covering tape, lo-fi, and Arturia's own spin, three reverbs, including my all-time favorite, Rev Intensity, four modulation effects based on some absolute classics, including my personal favorite, Chorus June 6 three classic preamps that can get your signal chain started with warmth and character, three mix bus processes, including a favorite of mine, Bus Force, which I love for parallel processing, and three filter plugins to add some extra movement to your sounds. And even though some of these plugins are based on classics, Arturia always seems to add something extra which takes it beyond the original. So as well as these existing plugins being included, many of them have also been updated. And by the way, yes, they are Apple M1 compatible, but we've also got four new effects included. Let's start off by taking a look at effects fragments. This is Effects Fragments, and I'm going to be demonstrating it and the other new plugins we have in this collection by using this. This is Arturia's Stage 73V, one of my favorite virtual instruments, and I'm using it because it has such a simple sound that we can really mess around with. Let's see how it sounds without any effects applied. So sweet, yeah? Okay, so how does it sound with effects fragments applied? I'm going to be doing that by applying this Past Lives preset, right? Now, I have to say, you're going to enjoy this experience so much more if you're using either headphones or studio monitors, because this is a little bit of a treat for the ears. So let's have a listen. Isn't that just dreamy? <laughs> okay, let's have a listen to another preset. I'm going to use this one, Ocean Sweep. Now, this one's a bit more full on, and you probably would blend it with the original a bit more. But anyway, let's have a listen. That's just too much fun. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Let's have a listen to one more. This one's a lot more subtle, transient stretch. Let's have a listen. So this plugin is using something called granular synthesis. What happens is, is it listens to any audio signal, either pre-recorded or it could be a live signal, and it grabs sort of chunks of that audio and processes it and messes it up and spits it back out again. Now, those little chunks that it grabs, it calls grains. Okay, and that's why it's called granular synthesis. Now, I am not going to pretend to you for a moment that I understand all the controls of this plugin because I've only literally been using it for a few hours and I've been looking at all of the other plugins. But I'll just give you a sort of an overview of what we're seeing here. So over on the left hand side, we have the controls for actually capturing the audio and how we capture the audio. Then in this middle section, grain release, this is about the kind of playback, how we rearrange and manipulate that audio. And then on the right hand side, we have um, pan and effects over here. Now, these are just the simple controls. What I do love about Arturia, as I've said before, is when you click on that advanced button at the top right, you get some sort of gems in there. Well, with this one, when you click on the advanced button, you get a whole bunch of other controls that I, as of yet, 
don't fully understand. But what I can tell you is these give you uh, much finer control over what's actually happening with those grains, okay, making it much more sort of predictable. So without that advanced button clicked, you know, we've just got the simple basic controls and then we can really go in and actually fine tune them. That's just one of the new effects that we've got in this collection. I think this is just awesome. It may be my favorite new one, I have to say. Let's see. Anyway, now you may want to mess up your lovely piano sound that we've got here, electric piano sound, with something like distortion as well. <laughs> this plugin is based on something called the Thermionic Culture, a valve or tube based distortion unit. It's really great for adding uh, a nice warm sort of fuzz to things if you like. I'm going to demonstrate it on our piano again. I'm going to start off just by pushing this knob up, the drive knob. We've also got this bias control over here, which just basically changes the character of the overdrive. Have a quick listen. And then we have this function control here, which you can basically think of as kind of an intensity knob, I suppose. Then we have a presence knob down here. So when we're on the uh, air setting, which is in the middle there, and that emphasizes the really high frequencies. And when we have it set uh, up to presence, then that just focuses, well, it focuses on the mid and high frequencies as well. Finally, we've got an output control and a mix control over here. And like many Arturia plugins, all the fun happens when we hit the advanced button at the top right. Let's click that and see what we've got. Essentially, what we have here mostly is some uh, low and high cut filters uh, for both the input and the output stages. In addition, on the input side, and we'll just adjust those there, you can see how it's represented. And so on the input side, we also have a, a simple compressor and gate as well, which we can use there. And as I say, same on the output stage, we do have uh, a, a high pass and low pass filters as well as on the output stage, a tilt EQ as well. So nice handy things there um, in the advanced section. <laughs> so the Sans amp was a guitar amp simulator brought out in around about 1989. And it's that that this plugin is based upon, the Dist Op Amp 21. Now, of course, it's mainly designed for guitar, I guess, but it can be applied to other things like our electric piano, for example. Let's have a listen, first of all, to what happens when I just push this wet signal up. I love the way it's kind of creating almost like harmonic sounds in there. Very, very nice indeed. So you've got these controls. I think they sort of speak for themselves, the name of these controls at the top. And then you've got these basic modes here. The first one is modern and there's no coloration added to this. It's a flat EQ. Then we have a normal mode, um, which has some sort of subtle EQ. We have the lead mode, which really emphasizes the mids and the highs, and then we have this bass mode which has a lot less presence. Let's just have a quick listen to all of those different modes, starting with modern. Now in the character section down here, we have a bunch of buttons which can be combined together and they're kind of like presets if you like. So for example, here with the first two, we've got different uh, boosts of the mid range. Next to that, we've got a, um, a high pass filter, um, a whole bunch of different buttons which just change the character of things. You can play around with those. And then of course, we do have an advanced section. I'll click on that. And that reveals that we have some pre and post drive processing. So on the pre side, We've essentially got a high and a low pass filter there for the incoming signal. And then finally, on the right hand side for the post drive, we've got a three band EQ there. <laughs> so Tape Mellify is not a brand new plugin from Arturia, but it is new to this collection. 
And it is inspired by, I would have to say, something called a Mellotron. Now, I've got Arturia's version of a Mellotron here, a virtual instrument. And this was an instrument from the 60s, I believe. And you, I guess you could describe it as a really early sampler. Except rather than sampling the sounds to a, a computer, they were sampled or recorded to tape, okay? And then you could play back those tape-based samples from the keyboard. Now, because it was tape based it had a very sort of lo-fi quality to it and some people find it rather charming let's just have a quick listen to its flute sound it's sort of iconic So what if you wanted to have that lo-fi sound but on any instrument? Well, that is where tape and mellify comes in. And we're going to be applying it to, you guessed it, to our electric piano. Let's start off by adding some drive, okay? So to do that, I'm going to switch on this drive button here and just gradually push this up. Then we have a tone control over here. Rather like that. And we can add some noise in here. Well, let's just keep that down low. A little bit of sort of hissy noise, okay? Now the fun comes in over here with the tape area. Let's start off by adding some flutter, which is sort of some fast pitch variation. then some wow which is a slower pitch variation Ooh, sounds a bit sick doesn't it but it's fun then we can add in some wear which sort of um is it's kind of where the tape has degraded yeah We can also add in some mechanical sounds here yeah, without playing the instrument. Let's have a listen. So you can kind of hear the machine is running, that tape machine that would be running on that instrument. So we'll have a listen to that. And then finally, when we are listening to it, I'm going to just hit this big wheel that's spinning here and you'll see what happens then. And that is Tape Mellify. So how much does this collection of 26 effects cost? Well, at the time of making this video, the answer is, I don't know. So you'll have to check the link in the description down below where you'll get a price right away. Now, a couple of times during this video, I mentioned some instruments from Arturia's V Collection 9. You can check out a review I made about that right here. <laughs>